What the hell? What's this? A gift box? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Um... Can now play the card game Queen's Blood. Okay. Interesting. Learn how to play Queen's Blood. Sure? The heck is... Raw blood, your turn. What the... Each player takes turn placing cards on the... Okay. Um. Um. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh my. Uh, okay. Understand it. Trying to understand this. Uh. Understand that. Jeez. Oops. Knocking over chairs. Oops. Of course. This is only the most 
recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings. Good morning, sir. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Brody, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice. Uh... All right. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Folios? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. Uh, okay, I have, uh, uh, finally, rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. I mean, good, because I like I like Red. He he was <laughs> me and him worked really well as a team in the uh, demo. Checked. Have them check mine while you're at it. Sure <laughs> thing. The rook's got a backbone. <laughs> I see Cloud's taking a liking to him. So, where do I? Uh, oh man, this is completely new to me. Uh, wait, Tifa? Uh, morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Yeah, the place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Yeah, hopefully that helps. This is such a quiet, peaceful town. You got a lot of work to do, Cloud. You've messed up with Tifa big time. So, where do I... What? Uh... Wait. No? I'm so confused. Do I go this way? Here. Aha! Uh -huh. Finally decided to get up. Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Sure. Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? So I was told to talk hey to you. Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Spend skill points at Ma Magneta Books locations and, and your portfolios. That's unlocking power talents. Okay. Uh, uh. 
Oh, what the hell? Okay. Synergy ability for Cloud and Aerith. Okay. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Right. Uh... Hey there. Wait, why are they so expensive? Wait, oh no, they're not expensive. Yeah. Oh man. Well, see you around. Yep. Uh, this is where it all began. That was interesting. Up. Hello there. Welcome. Damn. That is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you. Yeah. Upgrade your weapons. All right. Uh, okay. Oh. No, I don't, I don't, I don't want that. I want to manual. Thank you. See what I tell you, that girl is singing and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her. All right. Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. Damn, that looks like a sword that would do a lot of damage. New weapons can be found in treasure chests during your travels, but should you happen to miss one, the local arms dealer will have it available to purchase. That's nice. Oh. My. I don't have enough gill. That is a bummer. Oh well. You take care of that weapon now. I mean, I'll try. Boy, they are making me go through a lot of stuff just to figure this out. Main scenario, a date with Aerith. Oh boy. Then, shall we? Ugh. 
I don't- I don't want to go on a date with you, I'm sorry. You belong with Zack, not me. Just, you know, it's just stupid how that sounds considering my name is Zack. It's just- it's, it's just stupid. <laughs> I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks? It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Yeah. Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. What the hell? What are they doing here? What made you think that? How 
the helicopter did not see us. They turned up yet? No, but we're still searching buildings. We'll search harder. We gotta find them. Transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. Um. Okay. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. I mean, I kind of have an idea of how this works, but let's go through the whole tutorial thing just to be safe. Yep, it's the same as in the demo. Swear to God, you ever do that again, I will straight up send you flying to the moon. Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. You really showed those boards. Wait, is there anything behind me? Nope. Okay, good. I haven't. I, I, I don't know anything about this. I don't know if there's any secret stuff lying around. I'm guessing there probably is.
Just look at it all. It's so green. Easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. <laughs> left, you left, you left, right. I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. And there it was, the first step on our new journey. You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Right? Follow me. <laughs> Just your battle party. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. Wait, what? New discovery made. No conspirator. Is that. Is it pinned? Uh, okay, well, it's. Trying to get my bearings here. Where is it at? Uh, party. I don't want Aerith on my party, really. Wait, how do I? Ugh. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna waste time in this menu. Gotta get my bearings. So I gotta get used to combat. Chunk of iron ore. Okay. Good. Uh. We'll get our bearings right, guys. Right. Uh, should we be worried about those things? We're fine. How can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier, local wildlife will only attack while on the hunt or in defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack without reason. If they're attacking, what is it that As I gather warriors count. Let's go. So far, it's pretty easy, uh, but I'm still trying to get my bearings on this new place. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do. 
Sweet. Now I leveled up. Hard shop. I can't go in there. Just keep following this road until we get to where we need to go. See if I can make anything. Yep. Craftsmanship increased. Yeah. I really gotta work on crafting a bunch of stuff because I want to make sure that I can make cool stuff like this. <laughs> And I want to make mist potions. A lot of mist potions. Because that restores HP to everybody. It's kind of stupid not to make those. Oh, hello. Um. Wait, did that stuff just respawn? Or. Okay. Guess I just keep going this way. Hello. Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. I know you. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to call. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill. And you can count on me for a lift anytime. Except today, that is. Afraid the old butte's pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. What? Y'all just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. Uh. Okay. Another one of these things, huh? stuff there.
Owie. Moving on then. Probably something useful in all this rubble. Like I said, probably something. I don't know. So far, it's not seeming like there is anything. Oh. Ah, I got a free cushion. Boxes at least. Uh, nothing in them. Well, I mean, aside from the free cushion, uh, it wasn't really worth looking at all those buildings. Saber. Wait, that's the sword that I was looking to buy. Oh my. Yeah. Oh. Oh my. That is very clean. Firebolt blade, huh? Have to <clears throat> have to use that. Question is, can I upgrade it? Recharge weight when performing actions. I think I'll increase the ATB recharge rate. That sounds like it'd be really helpful. And I got a free materia slot on it too, so awesome. I ever find another area. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then Head on through the mines, and keep going till we hit Junon. Sure. Why not? You'd trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. <laughs> this swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> Why are you both looking at me like that? Can we rent some birds? Can we? What the? Why are you looking at me? Fine. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do with you two. 
Big old sign, Chocobo Ranch. Yeah. Hello. We won't hold that. Oh my lord. That is a freaking attack. That's that. I want to use that again. Ho ho ho. No time to celebrate. Um. That attack. Holy crap. I love it. I think I might like that more than Braver. That's, how big is this damn map? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Uh. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Oh. Tell me that this is all explorable. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, I have a feeling these are going to be extremely long chapters. I mean, I could rest there, but I don't want to. Okay, firebolt. Yes, I love this. Yeah, that that ability is awesome. I'm definitely gonna need a faster means of transportation around these parts. <laughs> the firebolt ability. No time to waste. And leveled up. that I have on. I just heal off of everything. That, okay, that's, that, that's definitely my new favorite. Uh, uh, it's not a new relic. It's a necklace thing, but it heals on a kill, so. Pleasure to see you all again. And welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever. Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic fairies to get us from A to B. But now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Uh... 
Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float, while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo. Nature's two-legged limousine. So, can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Alright. Sounds good, thank you. Wait, what the... Is that floating grass? What the... <laughs> uh... I don't think that's supposed to be like that. I don't need a cushion. I need... Uh, you know what? Why not get some steel materia? Hey, I... I need something to fill this slot on my sword, so leave me alone. Oh, wait. I need to make some of these. Craftsmanship increased. I can actually craft those now. Well, eventually I'll be able to craft those, but I can craft these. I just lack the iron ore. Huh. That's surprising. I mean, I'm, I'm getting these pretty much... I'm getting a lot of these put together pretty quick. I completely forgot to put the material on my damn sword. Ah! I don't mean, actually, I don't know if it needs to be on the sword, but... Whatever. It doesn't matter. Put it on there. Uh, maybe I could steal some stuff from the goblins that I'm fighting. Hello there. Howdy. Saw the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, pops, but you're out of luck. Pops. What? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. What wait, whoa, 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 whoa. The thing what? Is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Is what a scoundrel might say, but I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. <laughs> and he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Hey. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. Hey, I see something purple back there. That's a weapon chest. Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> Y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here. Riding and rearing lessons are on me. Uh, yeah, I want that. Gimme. What is it? Timeless rod. I'm just, like, kicking everything around. Good lord, I am so sorry. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose. But he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents... 
left. <gasps> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then, do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but... Yeah, I guess we do. Where I don't. He? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault Mom and Dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they could help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh! Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye... Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure, but, uh... What? Oh, okay, I see. So you sell... Uh... Stuff to just... You know, craft. I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. Why is there a ladder going up here? Are you hiding something from me? You are hiding something from me. Oh, hey, Moogle Metal. Excuse me, coming through. I'm just jumping over everything and destroying your place. Where'd you run off to? You mean Pico? Let's go looking for some tracks. What does that mean discovery? What what are you doing in discovery mode there for? I don't have any golden We're plumes, a do I? Stop shop for all your chocobo needs. Not enough golden plumes. Yeah, I I figured. Why are you You're giving me the discovery thing there? So you went this way. And what is that rod for? I'm guessing that's for Aerith. Yeah, timeless rod. Oh Jesus, that does so much more. Wow. All right, there you go, Aerith. Hey, 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 are you kidding me? I can't, I can't, I can't jump the fence. Ugh. I mean. It's not hard to see that. Bingo. Yeah! Come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. It's just a weird... Without being spotted by the other chocobos. Um... That one keeps moving like back and forth. Are you gonna flip around?
Hi there. Tame two golden plumes. Chocobo can freaking run. Till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him nice. Ain't that right? I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Uh, okay. What? Oh, Chadley. Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? Yeah. I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? What? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. I took a hey. book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Juna. But were claimed by Shinra. I don't remember after the seeing war. those towers. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. Find it. We'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. As the tower is close by, Chad module. You. <laughs> All right. After I do this, I'm afraid I'm going to have to end the episode. Because this is going on a lot longer than I was thinking it was going to be. Here we are.
All right. Hmm. Well, hello there. Activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. Oh my. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. World intel, huh? Ugh. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Uh, developing materia? With each piece of world intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. What I ultimately produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Hopefully some fire and ice materia and like. wind and lightning materia, because I remember that was awesome. Uh, combat simulator. With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless of your real world location. That's the combat simulator. Or my combat simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not, it will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons, once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them, of course. In fact, after pouring over stories from the grasslands, I have finished implementing a new one, the tower and colossus known as Titan. Engage him at your leisure. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Uh... These communications towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further their understanding of the planet. They scan for all manner of signals, which, in turn, reveal myriad locations of interest, such as long-forgotten ruins and rare natural phenomena. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please activate it. I must urge you to proceed with caution, though. Feral beasts often claim these installations as their territory. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Uh, specific intel related tasks? Which particular task would you like to learn about? Oh, sweet Jesus, there's more? Uh, life spring surveys. Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, you will first need to find them. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Combat assignments? While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures and amass data on them in the process. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Uh, <clears throat> crystal analysis. In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me, that of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus extracting said knowledge from them, I can use it to enhance our materia. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Uh, I have no idea. Proto, uh, proto relic salvaging? Ah, yes. I was hoping you would ask. I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no telling what the sources might be. And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects Proto Relics. Okay. <laughs> A rather endearing name, if I may say so. At any rate, 
I would be grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately recover them for study. If you still have questions about World Intel, please ask away. I've literally asked everything, so no, I'm good. Do you good. happen to have any questions about World Intel and the like? Uh, no, 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 no. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Oh, you have the fire and ice. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Um, yeah, give me that. I don't really want this other stuff. I wish you all the best yeah, in the long I don't want journey the that lies stuff. ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Uh, okay. Why, ay, ay. Okay, that was a lot to take in. <laughs> oh, and there's a. There is a lot of stuff. Oh, no, boy, oh, boy, that's a lot of stuff to do. Yikes. Oh, fudge nuggets. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode, because this is going to take a while. <laughs> Bye-bye.